Hello everybody once again, this is Akawa Kazu. Today I bring to you a pretty short guide on the latest update to Dragon Nest Southeast Asia which is the suffix 3 for epic equipment and the suffix 2 for the unique. And it comes along two new dungeons as well. In this guide I'll share with you the following. Firstly I'll share with you where you can craft a suffix 3 for your epic equipment as well as a suffix 2 for unique equipment. Secondly, I'll share with you where you can acquire the Epic Rarity Suffix 3 Essences as well as the Unique Rarity Suffix 2 Essences. Thirdly, I'll explain what Suffix 3 actually can do for you, and this will be done through a simple comparison between an armor and weapon piece at Suffix 2 version with a Suffix 3 1. Similarly, I'll do a comparison for Unique Suffix 1 with its Suffix 2 counterpart between an armor piece as, as well as a weapon. And last but not the least, I've made two video walkthroughs of the two new dungeons which are the Valley of Blindness as well as the Queen's Garden respectively. I'll provide an annotations at the end which you can click on at the end of the video to bring to you to those respective video walkthroughs. Let's start with the first part of our guide which is where you can craft a suffix tree for epic equipment as well as suffix 2 for unique equipment. It is at the same NPC, the Dark Priestess Mocha, where you craft our suffix 2 equipment previously. However, instead of trying to find the suffix tree versions within the first page of the crafting menu, on the same icons previously, it's actually on page 2 and they are all on a different bunch of icons just for the suffix tree version. This is especially important to know because I have trouble finding where to craft the suffix tree at the start and then realizing that they are actually on an entirely different icon on the pages at the back. Here's one example where the weapons for suffix tree crafting options are actually on page 10, which is actually the last page. For suffix 2 equipment similarly, if you don't find them on the earlier pages, don't be alarmed, flip through the pages to find them eventually. Moving on, you will need the epic suffix tree essences to craft your suffix tree equipment. You can acquire them from the two new dungeons Queen's Garden and Valley of Blindness respectively or exchange a piece of essence for 17 Goddess Sympathy at Dark Priestess Mocha as well. This applies to suffix 2 unique essences as well which can use 35 Goddess Sympathy to exchange for 1 or get them only at Archbishop Nest and Gigantus Nest Hell Mode. Here are two screenshots to show you proof that our Bishop Nest Hell Mode actually drops them too because when I did a simple Google search, somehow it only mentioned that Gigantus Nest Hell Mode drops them. So actually our Bishop Nest Hell Mode drops as well, so no need to worry too much if you can't really do Gigantus Nest Hell Mode. So what does Suffix 3 equipment actually do for you? Suffix 3 actually does not give you any additional stat bonuses like Suffix 2. What it essentially does is increase the chance for the suffix effect to proc. It does not increase the effect of the suffix, only the chance to proc is increased. Refer to the screenshots for both the armor comparison as well as the weapon comparison here to see what I mean. For unique suffix 2 equipment similar to the epic suffix 2, the stat bonus you get is almost double at around 80 to 90 percent increase, which makes the unique suffix 2 equipment extremely viable for non-final damage builds. Refer to the screenshots as usual to see an idea on how much the stat increase actually gives. Similarly, an armor piece and weapon is used for this comparison. And with that, we come to the end of this guide. Click on one of the two videos provided here to watch video walkthrough of the two brand new dungeons which is the Valley of Blindness and Queen's Garden respectively. I hope I've provided useful information for players out there and in those two videos, I've provided very useful information for those who want to know more about those new dungeons, especially on some tricky mechanics that you need to deal with in those two dungeons. So make sure you watch them before you attempt to do so, so that you do not wait to FTG to end up actually dying when you try to solo it. Once again, thanks for watching, God bless, and share this video with your fellow Dragoness friends if you have not. I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.